everyone and happy Thanksgiving and happy Black Friday and happy Small Business Saturday. There has been a lot of stuff going on with Gen X Toy Box, meaning we had a great weekend. We went to a lot of toy shows. We went to Virginia. I mean, we went to Greensboro. We made our way up to Virginia. We had a blast and we visited a lot of cool toy places along the way. So I kind of wanted to share with you a little bit of our adventure. Now I'm going to, I normally I like work in how, you know, our stops, how we go first, second, third, but I kind of want to jump into what we found. So we were on our way to Virginia and we stopped at a local Walmart in Roxborough, North Carolina. And you know, um, we don't really go there that often. It's kind of out of the way and they don't really have the stuff we need. So we don't really go there that often, but we had a child free weekend so we were like you know what let's stop in and see what they have and I'm really glad we did it I had nothing to do with it I had not planned on stopping um but my husband did and I'm super glad we did because we found the new I think it's way four of the wrestlers the uh, the masters of the WWE universe look at this so this is Jake the Snake Roberts and see this is the whole thing because these weren't even put out on the shelf yet when I found them um, I went and we went to the toy aisle like we normally do and they had an entire pallet full of toys and that's kind of how I discovered most of the masters of the universe don't be afraid of the pallets my friends I'm telling you so I went up to the pallets and I kind of know what these boxes look like. They're really small. They're literally just the size of these boxes. And so I saw two of them and I said, it has to be them. It has to be. So I kindly, kindly asked a Walmart employee if they could open the box for me to see if it was the wave I needed because I knew the old wave was already out. They were packed with Skeletor, He-Man, Beast-Man, all that. I knew it had to be the wave we were looking for. So, the very nice Walmart employee opened the box for me, and I have it right here, and this is what the box looks like. Um, again, you wouldn't think this is what, what four, six, four action figures come in. Um, so, yeah, but they do. And I was very excited. As soon as she opened it, we saw um, this one, which really freaks me out. This this person as a wrestler just looks very scary to me. So this is the fiend. And this is the evil lord of fireflies. He's got a very creepy looking face. But yeah, these are all unpunched in box. Love it. So I was very, very happy. I can't wait to um I don't think we're popping these ones open. Um like this particular one but I can't wait to see the mini comic and see what's inside the mini comic so very excited so that is unpunched and right out of the box and this is the other one this is Seth Rollins he is the slayer of kings and beast all right okay there you go very cool right I love this I'm very excited you have no idea like my husband almost passed out when he saw all these he was really excited and that's the thing you just have to ask I mean like like we were like we were saying before like you just have to you know, be polite use some sugar instead of spice and you can get places sometimes so don't be afraid to ask the the, the people at Walmart are very nice and then we have another um, Jake the snake so this one's probably gonna get opened probably oh, I don't know this one's in kind of better shape than the other one but one of these is getting open we're gonna look at the mini comic and without further ado Mr. T makes it on the scene I was very scared that this piece was never gonna make in the house and not because I'm a Mr. T fan not because I'm a collector but because I know my husband he loves Mr. T so much and I knew he was not gonna rest until this piece made it into his collection so um, again Mr. T stop coming into my house like this is a whole thing now you're in my he-man I don't know what to do um, but yes, he made it. He is the heroic pitier of fools. There's no other way of putting this. Um, he actually re looks really cool as an action figure. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm very excited that he is in here. And I'm, I'm kind of curious. Like, And I, I said the same thing to The Rock on, on his Twitter as well. Like, How much input do you think that Mr. T, The Rock, 
John Cena and all the other wrestlers, what kind of input do you think they had on making these action figures? Like, do they get to see them before they're made? Do they, you know, get to give the final thumbs up or thumbs down? Just curious. I just, I just want to know. Those are the things I want to know. And then, of course, we, we found an extra one. So one of these is going to get opened. So now we have two. Um, and we left two behind because, you know, we want to save some for other people as well. Um, but I'm so relieved that they are here. So um, I'm not even going to attempt to put these back in the box because I'm not going to shove them anywhere. But yay, that saves me multiple, multiple trips to Walmart. I, I don't think you understand. All done in one shot. So... It was complete kismet today. The stars aligned, whatever you want to call it, and it just happened. So, um, and then with this, I'm going to skip to, this was like the first stop. And now we're going to do the last stop, which was when we came home, we had a ton of stuff for a mail call. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I love coming home to a filled mailbox and I only know one of the things. So I, I don't know what I had a part in. Um, but, I mean, this one has my husband's name on it, so I'm going to blame him on this one. But um, we will see what came in the mail this week. Hmm. Okay, so a couple of videos ago, we did show you, we found some loose, actually, um, a little while ago. Um, these Bugs and Daffy and Taz. And these are these are Burger King toys, and I think they're really cool. I played with them when I was a kid. Like, I remember these. And um, we're huge on superheroes in this house. So, look, we got them complete. I'm pretty sure we're missing. We had the Petunia Pig. That one I know for sure. Um, we had her actual, like, her body. But I think we're missing the Wonder Woman costume. So, like, I know we have her, but we're just missing her costume. And the cool thing is, like, I don't know if you know about these, but these just snap right off. And then you can snap them back on. It's like, you know... They're, they're Looney Tune characters, and all of a sudden, they're ready to be superheroes. So, yay. Now we're only missing one more, and um, I think we do have some doubles. I think we have a double Bugs and a double um, Daffy just cut. So, let me turn these around so you guys can see. I think it's really cool. And like he's got the, the Super B on his chest and the duck and everything, and it's just it, it makes complete sense. So, love these. So that was a good buy on my husband's part. Not mad, not mad. All right, let's see what else we have. I'm gonna try and make a clean pile. Um, Figures Toy Company. Who knows? Has my husband's name on it. I'm not sure. Let me see. Here's an invoice of some sort. <gasps> okay, it's on everybody. So, okay. You remember when I showed you there's a video of the bin that we found under the house of just rent, not under the house, but in our shed full of random toys. Well, remember those really bust up Mego figures that I found? Well, my husband had a really great idea. He has always wanted a Mego figure to dress up as his character Tote Man, right? So he took the bits and pieces of the Mego figure, like he took one of the good hands, I think, off of Spock and put it on one of the other figures. And long story short, he took bits and pieces and he turned it into a complete Mego. And then there was a website, and let me see if I can find the name of the website on here. It's classic, T it's classic, tvtoys.com. I don't have my glasses, sorry. So classictvtoys.com. You can actually go and you can get um, whatever customization, you know, pieces for Amigo you need. Like for example, my husband, my husband needed a blue cape. So they have like a ton of different capes to choose from. So he got like a longer cape um, because his character has a longer cape. And they have them in different colors. They have them for females. They have like ones with collars, ones without collars. Um, and this actually has, it feels like some wire in there so you can pose it. And yeah, so this is like the longer cape for the Mego. And that's really awesome. Um, and let's see what else he has in here. He has the white utility belt, which is neat. And See, he, he was kind of on the fence because he wanted the original Mego gloves that they came with. So he got him in white because he wanted to stick to the original. 
And then he also got the flared ones just in case because his character has flared gloves. And let me show you these. These are so cute. They're like such the cutest little things I've ever seen. See? And they're like little rubber, right? So that's super cute. Um, so yeah, so he has the choice of if he wants the original gloves or, you know, if he wants the, the flared ones. And then here we have the little bodysuit, which is awesome. Let me open this one up. Look, see, we got the Mego one, the Mego suit, and it like goes over his little feet. And then, um, we definitely have the, um the white boots, which is kind of cool because, you know, our character has white boots. He's, he's mainly blue and white. So look, they'll just slip on. I'm so excited. My husband's going to have so much fun assembling this later. And then these are actually, um, these are for me. This is for my character, Junkyard Jess. We were looking for little rats before, um, and they had them. So they're not going to go with the Mego, but they're going to go with the Junkyard Jess Barbie. So, um, I might try and bribe my husband to see if he'll let me dress the Mego because I kind of want to dress it. Um, I've been having fun with that big old Barbie lot that I found the other day, um, you know, cleaning them up and, and playing with them. And, you know, my son was even playing with them for like a minute. He he was like, oh, this one's pretty. I'm like, don't, mm -mm, you're not allowed. Don't even, no girls for you, no, no nothing for you. You're, you're like three, you're not doing this. So if I'm nice enough, maybe my husband will let me dress the go. But that's really cool, that came really fast. So again, if you want to get stuff for Amigo, if you want to customize it, it's called ClassicTVToys.com. You should definitely take a look. So, um, And then this one's mine. This is all my fault, but I'm okay with it. So my name is Jessica, and I admit that I like Twilight. I like it a lot. Um, the books were phenomenal, and I thought the movies were phenomenal. I really did. Like, I thought they were really good at one point. Um, but then looking back, I'm like, you know, those are really bad wigs, and this is, like, pretty terrible acting, blah, blah, blah. The later movies were pretty good. I'll give them that. But I really love the book series. It is, I think it's literally the only series I've ever read all the way through. You know, I mean, I've read, you know, classics, and I've read, you know, the good old American tales. I've read poetry, Edgar Allan Poe. I read graphic novels. I read comic books. Um, but this is the only series I've ever read. And let me tell you, they came out with a book, um, I want to say like two-ish, two to three years ago. And it was called Life After Death. And it was a reversal of roles. So it was like, Bella was technically Edward and Edward was technically Bella. And it was, it was really weird. It was a reversal. I didn't dig it that much. But this one, I am very excited about. This is a new book that just came out this year. I want to say like two months ago at most. And I was looking for it at the library. They didn't have it. I was waiting for the price to go down. And luckily, I found one in the Facebook marketplace. And it wasn't local, but they were able to ship it to me. And this one is called Midnight Sun. Now, this one I'm very interested to read because if you know anything about the Twilight books, um, the Twilight books are written from Bella's perspective. But this book, Midnight Sun, is written from Ed, from Edward's perspective. And I'm very excited to see because, you know, he was so troubled. He had, you know, a lot going on and, you know, he he was all worried about Bella and her soul and all that stuff. So I'm actually really interested to read this. And maybe I'll let you guys know how it goes. But after I read a couple graphic novels I've been working on, I'm probably going to dig into that one. All right. We have one more box left for the mail call. And this one is on, this is from FYE. And I remember my husband telling me he found something he liked. And I don't remember. I remember him ordering it. I remember him saying what it was. We're actually going to try and find an FYE. But they're practically all gone in our area. So I know it's some kind of toy, but I really don't remember what it is. As soon as I see it, I'm going to go, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me check this out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, <laughs> I knew I would. Um, so we are, you know, still collecting pops. Voila, it's perfect. It came in at the same time. So see, that's neat, right? Okay, so we got the Wile E. Coyote a Cyborg, which is pretty neat. I don't think they ever made this as a toy, but that is my husband's. He's, he's going to take that one and run with it. And then we've got the Sylvester as Batman, which is kind of interesting. Um, no Daffy, 
But Sylvester's cool, still cool too. But as you can see, it's two different costumes. Um, we got like the blue and yellow, and then we got the black and gray. So there can be many Batman all over the place. So that's pretty neat. I'm, I'm really excited for these. And I, now I remember him buying them. I really do. Um, because they're apparently like FYE exclusives or whatever. Um, but, you know, that's kind of cool. I'm just going to put them up here and, and show them and everything. But very nice. All right. So that ends our mail call. Um, let me show you the back of these boxes real quick because they're actually kind of cute. I feel bad. I didn't, I didn't show you guys, but hooray for exclusives. I'm telling you exclusives make, makes collecting so much harder. Like currently we are chasing a Batman target exclusive and it's like an art series where it looks like they're covered in graffiti. And let me tell you, they're so hard to find because they stopped being made. I think in October, um, is when they stop being made completely. So they're kind of hard to find. So if anybody, you know, anybody that like has any, but, um, you know, like if you know anybody that has them or yeah, whatever, but that's, that's what we're chasing right now. So everyone always has something you're chasing after. All right. So I'm going to go put these pops up. I'm going to go dress as Mego, I think, if my husband lets me, fingers crossed. And I'm definitely going to um, put these up before a little one even touches them or find a spot to put them, more likely. But it's been fun. Stay tuned. We have a lot more that we've done this weekend. You just saw the beginning and the end. We have tons of filler. So stay tuned. See you soon. Hello there. I am so grateful that we have reached another milestone. I love doing these videos. It means that you guys are watching and subscribing. So thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. Um, so we have to set a new goal. And I think I'm going to go big at 1,000 subscribers. And we're pretty close. So please, everybody, continue to spread the word. Share on your social media pages. Get your friends and family together. Um, Anybody you may know that may like toys or anyone that just likes YouTube. Um, so spread the word. I would love to get a thousand subscribers and then we can do another giveaway. Don't know what it's going to be yet. Um, maybe some suggestions. What would you think? What would you like to see? What would you like to see as far as a giveaway? Um, do you want to do like a toy, a tour, a toy and a tour? Just curious. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for the support. And this has been a really great journey. So let's make it to 1,000. We can do it. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hey, thanks for staying till the end. And I'm glad you did because I begged and I pleaded and for the good of the show and mainly because my husband cannot resist his face, he's gonna let me dress the Mego. I am very excited. So we'll probably show you um, another video or two in the future um, how we actually got the hand to stick on because this was a mess. Like, I don't know if you guys saw that video, um, how messed up those Migos we got were like the Spider-Man was missing like a leg and a half like it was not good um so I'm trying to be very gentle but at the same time like get this done because I know how I dress my Barbies and it was so cute my son was sitting with me and he was trying so hard to dress the Barbies but it just it wasn't working he just does not have the motor skills for that yet um but he had a blast he was playing with me too and you know all my years of Barbie experience have now paid off to dress this Mego on camera. So yeah, my husband's character has a light blue suit. Um, so this is what we found. And why is his arm not wanting to... There we go, that's better, that's better. Um, has a light blue suit. So we were just able to go in and pick out what body suit we wanted. And I mean, they have so many to choose from. It's like drop down menus of all this cool stuff that you can pick. So okay. It looks like he's wearing pajamas. He's so cute. All right, let me show him to you once I get him snapped up there. All right, why does his arm hate me? There he go. Look, he's all dressed. He looks like he's ready for a slumber party, so that's great. Um, we're going to slip on the boots, and I was wondering if they are, like, left and right or not. I don't, I'm not sure, but, yeah, everything is for these Migos, and I think you, you know, pick what size. I'm pretty sure they're all for the 8-inch anyway, but, um perfect oh my goodness the boots the boots are done all right so I think I'm gonna put the oven mitts on um, I think I'm gonna go for the classic and we'll see how that looks 
if I can get this little baggie opened. Um, God, these gloves are so iconic, I swear. So let me see how these work. So these are like a little like vinyl thingy. They're kind of neat. All right, so I'm going to maybe like put his hand in there like that. See how that works. Oh, my goodness. This is actually like tedious work to dress Amigo. Who would have thought? And then you had to worry about getting the like stuff in there too. Like I would not want to do this on a regular basis. I'm telling you right now. All right, so I think that's the best you're going to get for right now, Mr. Man. There you go. I'll fix your sleeves a little later. He's going to get his sleeves. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to fix it later. All right, and then try and get this one. I don't know. It's like I, I want to, like, blow in it like you do with the normal gloves, but I am really not trying to, trying to blow in the little figure. All right. It's like you're testing me. I don't have my glasses on or anything. It's cool. It's cool. I got this. Um, and yeah, like I'll probably redo this later and, you know, shove his, his stuff down in there a little later, but you know, for camera, this is good right now. All right. Let me get, I'm, I feel like I'm like ripping it. Okay. I got it. I got it. Like I'm trying not to. All right. That's good. That's good. All right. So there we go. He's got his gloves. He's got his boots and don't forget the belt. You got to put the belt on. I think I'm putting it on upside down. There you go got the utility belt this is so cool to see it coming to life by the way because like it's you pick all your pieces and you put them in your cart but try like seeing them come to life is a whole nother thing it is so neat all right and then we've got the cape like this is a little this is a little nice one too and um yeah this I, we definitely picked the long cape because it looks so much nicer Perfect. All right. It's on the little clasp. Look at this. Oh my goodness, guys. So we know this isn't complete yet. So we're going to see if we can get some custom decals because he has a screwdriver for his chest and he has a screwdriver on the back as well. Um, but, and then we also have to swap out the head too. So we're just going to get like a Wolverine head and swap it out and then probably paint it because I mean, that's pretty much what his helmet is anyway. It's like the Wolverine, like thing so um which we actually might have we're gonna go check later but for the most part he's pretty much done this is really cool and the best part is it's super affordable like i'm not gonna lie this did not cost a lot to put together and i i thought it was gonna be a whole nightmare trying to get trying to get this but um he is done he is complete guys so um i'm gonna go look for the wolverine head and i hope you enjoy tote me amigo coming soon bye guys